All effects have a cause. All intelligent effects have an intelligent cause. And the power of the intelligent cause is in proportion to the size of the effect. In the beginning, everything was chaos. All the elements were mixed up and in a confused state. Gradually, though, the elements settled, and living beings, when Earth became ready to support them, began to emerge. The prototypical organic structures of these beings were contained in the Earth, where they waited for favorable conditions to develop. When the force that had been holding the primitive organic principles apart ceased to exist, they united and formed the biological prototypes of all living beings. Like the chrysalis or the seeds of plants, these prototypes remained dormant, though full of potential, until the environmental conditions were right for the birth of each species. The beings of each species then came together and multiply. Climates, modes of life, and social habits caused the physical and cultural differences that distinguish our human races. Human species came into existence in various places and in various eras. This is one cause of the diversity of human races. individuals traveled, endured different climactic conditions, integrated with people from other areas. In time, they formed new racial groups. The more we explore nature's mystery, the greater our admiration should be for the wisdom of the Creator. Despite our differences, we are all related by our common relation to the Creator.
we look different from each other. We have different religions. Different problems. Different talents. But at the end, we are all equal. We all struggle towards the same goals. Everyone is governed by the same natural laws. Everyone is born with the same fragility and is subject to the same suffering. God has created us to live in society. No person excels in all areas. In social life, we complement each other and thus ensure our progress and well-being. Complete progress is our final objective. But nations, like individuals, progress step by step. And until they acquire a higher ethical sense, they may use their knowledge and resources in inappropriate ways. God created all spirits equal, but each one has lived a varying number of lives and has evolved more or less as a result of them. Differences, including the wide diversity in talents, can be accounted for by the sum of their incarnate experiences and by the extent of their willpower. God has not created spirits with unequal gifts. The coexistence of spirits of diverse evolutionary levels makes it possible for more evolved spirits to assist less advanced ones. Through our mutual need for each other, we practice the art of love, which one day will unite us all. Is it wise to dismiss without having studied something? Or is it wiser to contact those who have really conducted experiments with care? Birth, death, rebirth, and constant evolution, such is the law of life. At times, the Creator may find it useful to reveal things that are beyond the competence of science to explain. It is through such revelations that, within certain limits, we obtain knowledge of both our past and future. Or we explore nature's mystery, the greater our admiration should be for the wisdom of the Creator.